Hey, today I'm back with No Frills Hi-Fi. Um, taking a look at the Aima uh, T3 Pro. It's a moving magnet or moving coil phono preamp. So if you have a turntable and you don't have a built-in preamp, or maybe you do and you want to kind of step it up a bit, this is a good product for you. Um, it's about 100 bucks. It's $99.99 on uh, Amazon. Um, grab a knife. Go ahead and get this open. Um, one really cool thing about this that really kind of caught my eye, um, most uh, phono preamps in this price range are moving magnet only. Um, you've probably seen some of my other videos where I did the, uh, where I used the FOSI Audio Box X4 phono preamp, it's a tube amp, um, which I really like, uh, but it doesn't do moving coil. So if you have a moving coil cartridge, uh, this is about as inexpensive as you're gonna get a phono preamp uh, for your cartridge, um, which is really cool because most of those are gonna be a lot higher end. Now this is, um, it's, uh, I believe it's 32 decibels of gain. Um, might have to confirm that. Um, so if you're using a moving coil cartridge and it's a, a low output, it should work with this, but there are gonna be some low output cartridges that will not work with this. So um, make sure you check the manufacturer specifications on your cartridge. Um, I use a Sumiko Rainier. It's a moving magnet cartridge, so I'm just going to be keeping it in moving magnet mode. But I am looking into a moving coil cartridge. Um, but again, check those specs because some of them require more uh, gain than this can provide. Uh, so you just want to be careful that you're not, you know, buying something that's not going to work with it. Um, I believe it's here somewhere where it shows how much gain it is. And it's not. So I'll, I'll confirm that uh, real quick uh, once we get this out. But, um, you know, if you're using a, a super low output cartridge like uh, Denon DL103R, um, it's a cartridge I've been looking at, it requires about 60 decibels of gain. This is not going to work for that. Um, but most, most of them you shouldn't have a problem with. Just like I said, just make sure that it qualifies. So, um, on the front, we've got a toggle switch for on and off, which I kind of like. I mean, it's kind of old school, but I kind of I kind of like a nice, heavy toggle switch. Feels nice and crisp. Um, the pots are smooth. They're they're a little tight, or at least that one is. Yeah, and you can tell they have a little detent inside, so they definitely click in at each little point there, which is kind of nice. Um, but you've got uh, gain and volume. And if you're not familiar with gain, um, gain is basically the, uh, the amount of power output. So the more gain, the more power. It is different than volume. Volume um, is basically just going to change the loudness, but it doesn't change how much power there is. So um, you do want to kind of get both of those set right. Ideally, a phono preamp, you shouldn't really need the volume. If you've got a preamp it's going into that has volume control or an amp that has volume control. Um, so you may not necessarily need that, but you might. Um, but, sorry, that one. But the gain is very important, especially if you're using a moving coil cartridge. Likewise, on the bottom, you have all these switches. Um, if, I don't know if you can see it real good from there, but uh, I'll try to hold that up where you can see it. Um, so it's got the little key right here. So you set left and right sides separately. So the big thing is just make sure whatever you do, they're both set the same. So if you're using a moving magnet cartridge, it's easy. The switch for nine should be on and it, it is on already by default uh, from the manufacturer. I would just double check that. I mean, I can't, I can't imagine that they would ship them off in different orders, but you never know. Uh, so just check it out before you go uh, messing up your system or getting frustrated because things don't work right. Uh, but then if you're using 
moving coil, you would turn those switches off. Just get like a little screwdriver or, or even a paper clip and you can flick those switches with it. And then you're going to set the, um, uh, the ohms here. And you can get that, like I said, from the cartridge manufacturer website. You just want to make sure that that matches whatever it can do. Now I do see here uh, flat and HPF. There's another switch on and off. It is set to on. Um, let me just uh, double check that real quick. Um, okay, so full frequency versus high pass filtering mode. Um, that would be something I would probably just leave on truthfully, but you can try it either way. It would sort of depend on what cartridge you're using, but um, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't sweat too much about that. That's one of those things where if you if you don't need it, you probably don't even know what it is. Um, but I wouldn't uh, wouldn't sweat it. Um, on the back, we do have the power port. We've got uh, output and input, just RCA jacks, and we do have uh, the ground. But um, for the most part, pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, on these, all these switches on the bottom, you're going to want to kind of do your own research on there because I can't tell you without knowing exactly what cartridge and setup you have, which ones of those you want to use. But um, if you're just using moving magnet, uh, which is, I would say most of the, the lower end cartridges, not to say they're not as good, but if you're, if you're kind of just starting out, if you don't know what you've got, probably have a moving magnet. <clears throat> uh, moving coil is going to be a much more sensitive cartridge, typically comes on higher end tables. Um, like I said, it's something I'm looking and upgrading to. One thing I really like about this though is it does both uh, and it's a hundred bucks. So this is something if you're looking at buying one and you you have a moving magnet cartridge, go ahead and spend a hundred bucks, get this. That way you're not going to have to buy another one at some point down the road when you uh, decide, hey, I want to go for a moving coil cartridge. Um, and then, of course, it does uh, obviously come with the power supply there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next video. We'll do a uh, review of this uh, here in just a few minutes. Thank you. Catch you later.